So it's the new year. It's a new year. People make their goals. We're only five days in now. You know, everyone has their New Year's resolutions. And everyone knows that, like, January, you know, the gym goal, like, the gym memberships skyrocket and then they fall off. That's, that's sort of what I want to talk about. I know I need to make a video, but I'm still having troubles with my freaking tooth and catching my cheek when I talk, so I have to talk uh, in a very specific way, and I'm still getting used to it. So everyone knows that in January, gym memberships skyrocket. They decrease greatly afterwards. Um, and that's because a lot of people's goals are usually to get in shape or lose weight, and that's their resolution for the year. And I want to talk about how do you keep your goal? Like, what do you do to keep your goal? For me, it's never really about keeping it per se. It, it's about dealing with the negative thoughts. It's the fear of failure um, that drives me to not accomplish all the things I wish I did. I am paralyzed with fear in a lot of things. And I know that that has stopped me from taking chances. It's it stopped me from doing a lot of what I wish I had done. And with goals, with trying to complete goals, a lot of what you're dealing with is overcoming that fear and that anxiety. So the question becomes, how do you deal with that? How do you overcome that? And the honest answer is, for me has just been pure stubbornness. It's just, <laughs> I, I have just decided. And there's setbacks. <laughs> there, there's a lot of setbacks. Like, I'm trying really hard to lose weight. And I'm, I, t I know that I tend to bounce between weights, like I'll bounce three or four pounds, I'll be up or down or up or down, and it's about three or four pounds difference in between the numbers, but I know that that means that my goal is working, I, I am actually losing the weight, it just, it bounces and then it drops and then it bounces and then it drops. And it's kind of a healthy way to lose weight. You're you're not losing a ton at once, uh, and you're you're kind of maintaining weight and losing a little bit at a time. And the reason why I say that's sort of a healthy way to lose weight is it gives like your skin chances to recover. <laughs> there's there's a lot of whole things with it, but that's that's sort of how you you have to fight those those little thoughts. Those little things that, that, that try and stop you from accomplishing your goals. I have a lot of negative thoughts every time I try to do a project, or every time I try to post a video or record a video. And it's fighting through those thoughts and, and pushing myself that gets me to where I am. And, and I do it because I'm a stubborn bastard. That's the thing that keeps me going. I'm a stubborn bastard, and I know that I need to learn to accept certain things. I, I need to learn to accept certain faults. I, I need to learn to accept that not everything will be perfect. And it's in that acceptance that's allowed me to start really working towards some of my goals. And I just keep reminding myself to be stubborn, to, to let myself be stubborn. And it's important to let yourself be okay with failing. I wanted to lose more weight by this time. I haven't, I've, I've not lost more. I lost the amount I wanted to but I didn't lose more. 
and I was I was down more, but I ended up going up two or three pounds. And I learned to be okay with that because I know what I need to do to lose it. I know what I was doing worked. I know my plan can work. For making videos, I like what I do. I like the games I play. I know where my faults are and I do my best to try and overcome them. I've done so much research over the years. I've, I've read so many things. And a lot of what it is you have to accept is pure dumb luck. There's a lot of just luck to it. There's no easy trick. There's no do this and you'll get a million subscribers. Everyone says there is, but it's not. It's a lot of luck. And that's something that's fine. That's out of your control. You can't worry about that. And that's how I look at New Year's resolutions. I look at them, a lot of them get in shape. People don't want to commit to that, though. And that's what you have to do. If you want to really do them, you have to commit. You have to be stubborn. You really have to push yourself. That's the only way to do it. Just remember that. If you guys have a goal or a resolution, just remember, you have to push through the bad. You have to. Don't worry about not being perfect. Don't worry about not being amazing. Keep pushing it and understand that things take time. That's all I got. I'll see you later, navigators. Bye.